Did someone say active lifestyle? I heard you. Shafiq Nazri here, your host. Now, how's your fitness level? If it's improving, that's great. But if it's still the same as per last episode, ah, oh, we don't want that. So my advice, you stay tuned, get all the benefits from this program, and I promise you, you'll either be as fit or healthier than I am. Let's go. Active lifestyle. So today I'm at one of the most renowned universities in Malaysia, University Pendidikan Sultan Idris or UPSI for short. Chilling. Are we playing badminton? No, 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 we're not, we're not playing badminton today. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. We are doing something else which will actually improve your overall performance. You know, it's an exercise. It's called the bodyweight squats. Right, let's go, come on. Oh, where's the spirit? Come on, guys. Woo, yeah. All right, nice. Okay. So, the body weight squat, yeah, it is, it focuses more on the thighs and the bum. But for the men, it boosts the testosterone, which is good, yeah, it's good. It helps with the overall upper body as well. So if you always keep leg day, that's gonna be bad for the guys. For the ladies, nah, it's okay for them. <laughs> All right, first things first, Get into a position where you need to strengthen your entire body, right? Especially the back, right? The back here. And then I need you to descend all the way down. It's as if you are in the toilet, all right? Doing your business, okay? <laughs> Don't know if it's serious. It's serious, okay? Hands in front of you for stability. Hands on the front, yeah, at the front. And then descend slowly towards that mm. position. Oh, you can feel it right now, okay? <laughs> and then get to the starting position. Descend again, all the way down, and then back to the starting position. You're gonna feel it there. The testosterone, you'll feel it later. I can't, I can't tell you now. <laughs> all right, on my command, okay? Now, position your legs just a little bit apart, all right? Straight, back straight. No, 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 not like that. Back straight, don't cheat, okay? <laughs> okay. Hands in front of you. And then let's descend together. Go. One. Lower, yeah. Lower, lower, lower. Don't cheat. Lower, 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 lower. And up. Very cool. good. That's one. Uh, oh, your hands up. Okay. And two. Very lower, lower. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. Lower. lower. Very good. And two. How okay. ah, do you feel it now? Oh. Do you feel it now? Where do you feel it? <laughs> the thighs, right? Yeah. Let's go. Number three. Ah, very good. And up. Very good, you guys are doing well. We should go for what, 15 reps? No? Yeah, no, no. Okay, four. Yes. 
And finally, one more, last one. Let's go oh. down. And just to make it more challenging, hold. Oh, look at the birds out oh, there. Wow. <laughs> and up go. All right. Nice. You guys did great. My feet on my knee already. Really? How far we have to descend? This is insane. Ah, not that <laughs> insane. I mean, if you go uh, to a point where you could feel it, and your bum or your thighs, that's great enough. This is too much for me. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's not debate here, okay? <laughs> but it's great. Again, it's essential for the lower body, which also helps for the upper body, especially the men, all right? Okay, so let's go on to the second exercise for today, all right? Yeah. It is known as the jumping frog. Now, the jumping frog, okay? Ooh. Yes, ooh, yeah. All right, so it's great usually for martial artists. They do train using this exercise. Um, it's like getting, it's like you're doing the body weight uh, squats, but you'll be jumping more. So it really improves your agility, all right? So how do you do it? I'm gonna show it to you, okay? Now, hands behind your back, all so right. that you don't cheat, <laughs> all right? Get into the same position like the body weight squat, and then when you descend, you jump. You jump forward at least three times, and then you jump backwards three times as well, okay? Hands behind your back, descend, and jump. That's one, two, and three. And then back, one, two, and three. You are totally gonna feel it, especially in the thighs. All right, now I want you to try it, yeah? I will supervise you this time, <laughs> okay? In position, descend, and jump, one, good, two, oh, eight, and three. It's not a race, it's not a race, okay. Now, backwards, one, very good, two, very good, and three. That's one, that's one rep. Oh. <laughs> Second, now, listen to my command, one, <laughs> two, it's okay, good, and three. And now, backwards, one, two, and three. Why are you getting slower? <laughs> okay, one more time. Last one. One. Very good. Two. Very good. Three. It's like you're under punishment or something. Backwards. One. And two. Come on, guys. Cheer for them. And last one. Jump. Woo! Nice. All right. Very good. You guys did it well. Now that we're done with all three exercises, remember, workout is only 30%. The other 70% is the meal. Oh. So let's get to the healthy meals. Woo, nice! Oh, nice. Hey there guys, good morning. We meet again. Morning. All right. How's everyone doing? Great. It was a great. It was a great. Oh, you're hungry. Yeah, we just did a total, total workout, right? Yeah. You still, you still feeling it? Yeah. Should we do a little more? No. no. <laughs> All right. So, uh, after the workout, of course, we're gonna talk about the healthy meal that I've prepared for you. Okay. Wow. All right, that's great. So what's for breakfast today? All right, we've got salmon herb, red bean salad. So we've got our salmon, red beans, we've got red onions, cherry tomatoes, parsley, and lemon vinaigrette. Wow, that sounds easy enough. Can we add any other ingredients for even better? Of course you can. I mean, you can add in avocado, some potatoes, uh, more tomatoes. It's really up to you, actually. Oh. Mm. Well, I like it spicy. Do you think I could add hot sauce to it? Oh, yes, you can. You can add in peppers, flakes. It's up to you. It's based on your creativity. Well, I don't have it with me right now. I need one of you to go grab it in my 4x4. Who wants to do it? Let me have you. Sure, go on. Hold up a minute. 
what are red beans? Could you tell us more about those? Of course. They're a great source of fiber and carbohydrates. And they also contain antioxidants, which can help protect against cancer and other diseases. And it says here that because they're high in fiber, they can also help regulate digestion and low cholesterol levels. Wow, you guys are like health experts now. <laughs> so, what about the red onion and cherry tomatoes? Yeah, cherry tomatoes are full of vitamin C and A, which are great for boosting our immune system. Okay. And red onion is a source of flavonoids, which is known for anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer. <laughs> wow. I guess our salad has lots of benefits in it, eh? Well, firstly, I will start with the show, which is the salmon. You need a piece of salmon, all right? What we have to do is you need to season it with salt and pepper. All right? Wow. And then bake it in the oven for around 12 to 15 minutes at around 400 Fahrenheit. Now, while the salmon is baking, you got to get your red beans, yeah? Rinse it and just toss it in the bowl, okay? And then you just add in some cherry tomatoes, your red onions, your parsley, and give it a good stir, all right? And then we would like to create the lemon vinaigrette, all right? Two tablespoons of olive oil, squeeze out one lemon, and then add in some salt and pepper. Of course, stir it and then just pour on our salad. Uh, that's the salad, all right? And once it's done, once the salmon is cooked, just add it on to the salad. And voila, your salmon herb red bean salad. And remember, with a bit of creativity, you can make it fun instead of boring. Yeah, all of us learned a lot today. Thank you so much, Shafi. Uh, I can't wait to make the salad by myself at home. Alright, but while you're gonna get home, I'm gonna share it with you right now. Oh. <laughs> okay. Mm, great job, Shafi. You are the best. I am, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow, thank you, thank you. I mean, I couldn't have done it without your energy. I hope you've benefited from it, and I do hope you'll share this with your family and friends so that you stay active. All right? Yeah, for sure. All right. <laughs>Welcome back to the final segment of the episode where we share inspiring stories from people who have made it in their career. And today we've got Shuhada, who is a martial artist in the art of Silat. Hi. Hello, Hello. Thank you for having me. All right. So Shuhada, could you tell us more about yourself and your journey as a martial artist? All right. As a martial artist, everyone has their own journey. So my journey is I started learning Silat since I was a child. And then also uh, another than that, I also learned Muay Thai in my secondary high, uh, secondary school. So uh, in between them, I become more successful in Silat because I compete in many international games uh, as a in a artistic category. What was your spark to become a martial artist in Silat? Actually, uh, what inspired me to learn martial art. It is because I come from a, you know, a not very good background family. So I don't know how to uh, have a healthy social life. Mm, right. right. So I'm thinking of something, like what to do. I don't want to be in a negative circle. Mm -hmm. So I started searching for something that I can do every day. Then I saw my friend uh, practicing silat and starting from that, I joined him too, and it's become who I am today. Ah, so you had someone inspire yes. you, your, your friend, your role model. Uh, my friend. Okay, all right, all right. So you've been practicing silat for how many years already? Since more than 10 years. More than 10 uh -huh. years. But you also mentioned you joined Muay Thai. Yes. Okay. I joined Muay Thai in, uh, so I represented uh, Selangor State wow. when I was a teenage. In 2016, I've got a silver medal. Wow, second place. Yeah, yes. Um, and then uh, now, mm -hmm. I opened a Muay Thai Upsi Club uh, starting this year, 2023. And it's approved by uh, Upsi. Uh, ah. Officially operated now. What do you think of 
these two martial arts, which is silat and also Muay Thai, why do you focus more on silat? From my opinion, uh, every martial art has their own unique, you know, uh, their own um, benefits from learning. When I learn silat, I know how to do the uh, the, locks. the lock, the lock, and Muay Thai. I learn how to. It's more like uh, logic in street fighting, okay. you know, and. The other than that, also uh, I've learned karate, but only for just one year, and then I've learned how to control myself in martial arts. So every martial arts uh, teach us something different. Mm, wow. uh, then uh, why I become uh, more successful in silat because maybe it's our traditional martial arts mm, in yes. Malaysia. Yes, yeah. yes. So what were the challenges? Being I don't know, sometimes. You know, when it comes to martial art, usually we'll think guys will dominate it. But now we have a female warrior. Yes. Now, what were the challenges when you you practice silat? Uh, the challenges for me that I can overcome everything because I've learned it from my mother. Okay. She is a single mother, so I think a woman can do everything. Mm, okay, all right. Uh, uh, even if uh, people tell me that's a man's sport, yeah, like yeah. a woman cannot join that. Mm -hmm. But for me, there's nothing impossible. Oopsie mm -hmm. slogan is, impossible is nothing. All uh, right. So I'm doing it uh, to prove them that women also can become successful in everything that uh, available in the world. Mm. There's no exception. So they were gender discrimination, but yeah, you no. proved them wrong. Yes, I proved them wrong. Yeah, silver, right? Silver metal. <laughs> All right, so um, what is next for Shuada? What next. Or what is your dream now that My you graduated to martial art? Yeah? My dream is actually since I was in diploma, now I'm in the degree in physical education, right? So since I was uh, in diploma, I know that UPSI has Silat, Silat Club, mm -hmm. but there's no Muay Thai Club. So starting that, I'm thinking of opening a club mm -hmm. in UPSI, Muay, Muay Thai Club. Then this year, I finally achieved my dream to open it, and now we have more than 100 uh, people uh, joining wow. our club. Yes. What would your advice be for those who, let's say, example, I want to join Silat, hmm. and I've never tried Silat. What would your advice be? I would ad advise you to just do it, to just try what you, what you think you want to do. Okay. Uh, it's just a, a positive thing in martial arts. Any kind of martial arts, uh, silat, muay thai, karate, just join it because it will help you to mm -hmm. build another you, another, okay. a better version of yourself. Uh, like because my own self, based on my experience, when I learn martial arts, I become more disciplined mm -hmm. and I have a strong personality and more confident. Now, what would your advice be for those mostly females, the ladies, if they want to venture into the same career as you? My advice for them is just do it because we can do everything. Women can do everything. Mm. So uh, it doesn't, uh, we don't have to look at gender to do something. Like people always say that silat or any martial art is like a man's sport, mm -hmm. but it's not. Because many of my friends also, they play rugby, okay. some, uh, you know, uh, high risk sports. Yes. But it's okay, just do it. And you become like me. <laughs> okay, so what about, let's say, I were to join Silat. I've never tried Silat before. What if I were to give up in between? What would your advice be? My advice for you, if you want to give up, just think again why you started. Remember the first day you think that you want to join the martial arts? Why? That's the point. Uh, because whenever I feel tired, I just rest. I didn't stop. And then when I feel okay, I find my own motivation, like looking at uh, YouTube video, motivation videos, okay. and then I start again, uh, and then I become fully motivated again to continue my journey as a martial artist. But do you take care of your meals as well? Yes. Okay. Uh, because uh, I have to take care of my weight. As you know, I'm also playing martial arts, uh, yes. um, another martial arts like Muay Thai. Mm. So I play 45 to 48 kilograms category. All right. So it's tough for me. Mm -hmm. I have to take care of my own meals because uh, based on my sport, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. because they are only three kilograms are different. Okay. So, uh, from my opinion, meals is also important to have a healthy body, not just to take care of the weight category, yeah, yeah. Okay. but also for ourselves because we want to use our body for a long time. Yes, exactly, uh, exactly. And we want to also increase our lifetime period. Mm. <laughs> okay, got it. All right. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, Shahada. So I think that's about it for today. I mean, what Shahada said is correct. It's true as well, right? You gotta train smart. Yes. Train hard, but you gotta train smart as well. Yeah. And then you gotta adapt. Be like water. You gotta adapt to any situation, and then go for the price. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much, Shahada. Okay, thank you. Shafi Nazri here. I'll see you next week. This is Active Lifestyle. So about sea life, right?